Here's our standard duty roll restorer. It just came off of the shipping skid. We put it out in an open area of the floor. Included was the instruction package with the information you need to operate and maintain the equipment. Okay, we're taking off the air pump. The first task will be to take out the shipping plug, which is red, taken out with a screwdriver. Next, we'll put on the breather plug, which is got to be on there for the proper operation of the unit. Next on the opposite end is where the air supply goes for the air pump. Recommended pressure is 90 to 140 PSI. You'd at least want to use a quarter inch air fitting here so you don't starve the unit. Next, we'll connect the air pump to the hydraulic ram. <clears throat> this is done with a self-sealing hydraulic connector. It's very important that the connector be tightened fully. If not, it'll be susceptible to leaks. Uh, also, if you separate the connector so that you can move the unit without the pump attached, it's very important that the connector be kept clean or it could result in pump problems. Next, we'll put on the flange, which reduces the 6 inch down to a 3 inch. So we have a 3 inch ID core. There are different sizes from 3 to 6 inch. Now the draw bar is installed. It's pushed through the bar lock. Through the core out the other side. The platforms move to get it up close to the core. This is a fairly heavy core. And we'll use the height adjustment to level off the center of the bar rod with the core. This one's pretty good. Next, we'll install the mandrel or cone onto the pull rod. It's best to bring it up snug so all the threads are taken up. Now we're pulling the components to take out all the play the end, we tap the mandrel in a little bit just to make sure it's snug. Over at the bar lock end, next step is to tighten it. We're up reasonably snug. The next thing we'll do is get the air connected and operate the unit. Okay, now we'll operate the unit. It'll go in three inch increments as run by the air pump.
big sheet of... Uh... And lastly, in addition to the standard size unit, which handles up to and including 6 inch, uh, larger models available. It's quite a bit larger and more rugged. It's designed to handle 6 through and including 12 inch ID cores. Here's the 12 inch frame. We're putting in the adapter to deal with a 10 inch ID cone. And here's our 10 inch ID cone. The heavy duty unit also available is an adapter so that you can hang the unit by a fork truck by clamping this unit to the chisel. Sure. Take it like a man. <laughs>